Hello and welcome. Here we are again, Peaceful Patrick in Paradise. And today I want to share with you the story of the light spirits. You may know or not that for two years now I'm talking about these light spirits. And you may wonder what is this all about? What's Patrick's story here? In March 2020, a time that we all remember, we were actually in Lima and uh, we couldn't go back home and we were stuck in Lima for five months until we found somebody who would take us back home into the jungle. A two days trip with a car as planes and buses still did not go back. So for me, 2020 being stuck in Lima was really a horrible, horrible thing. The positive thing was that there was no traffic on the roads and you could actually see the sky. But like our only movement was on the parking lot. <laughs> no, not the only movement, the only outside. And I would sit by a little palm plant to meditate, just to maintain that connection to earth. And so out of this time where I questioned, I was concerned about our beautiful Nali, our Akaporni, that was of course here in the jungle and was in very beautiful hands. But nevertheless, as we returned a couple of days later, she passed. So with all of that in the midst of all of this chaos and whatever happened around us, spirit decided to gift me the light spirits. Light spirits in a way are like power animals or spirit animals, whatever we want to call it. And they came to me to release this energy. So something I understand today in a dancing dialogue, a friend said, it's not about who is listening to it. It's not about how people receive. It is about giving voice and setting the energy free. And the light spirits are very much like that. They wanted to be set free. And I did. So the first one that came to me was, of course, the hummingbird. All of them have a name. The hummingbird is Whitey. And they brought me a story that I then would record. And in that story, there was a medicine that came through three or four. Medicine, you could call lessons, you could call challenges that don't only reflect to the hummingbird, Waikiki in that case, but also they are related to us and our human experience. So this is how they came into being. I was guided to record the story of five. I was guided to record for each lesson, for each medicine, another audio. And I was told that this is sound, spirit, and story medicine. And now, more than two years later, we're feeling very strongly together now, Ceci and I, so the Sonic Song goes together, to share that, not just as stories, not just as the medicine, but actually to go into our shop so that you can download the story and the medicine for each animal, for each light spirit that may cause you and enjoy as a way of self-discovery. We don't feel that we need to hold your hand and guide you through the process. We strongly feel and believe that the light spirit will guide you through to listen to the story, 
to go into the medicine and to find your own medicine in all the medicine and lessons that are given for your time, for your experience at this moment. So this is the story of the light spirits. It says he painted beautifully, wakey and sunny the giraffe, Meti the sloth, I have to remember the other names, Ohanu the dolphin and Tuatara, the Tuatara. So enjoy. They will be up on our website very soon in the heart shop where you can download it and enjoy in your own space and your own pace. And to give you a little glimpse of it all and a little sense, let me share the flute with you and tune you in to that lovely energy that is already out there of the light spirits. So if they're calling you, you know how you can find them. They are not up yet. But should you come to this point and should you be called, then just DM us. There's ways to communicate with us or make a comment and we will make sure they get to you even at a special. Thank you so much for being here today. Much love into your world from the beautiful light spirits.